Hi guys, welcome back to the Super Math for You. This is Mr. Urego. We're working on Algebra 1 EOC review, solving multi step equations and inequalities. So, we have an equation right now. The idea is to leave the x by itself, solve for x. That's the question. They can ask you, isolate the x, okay, or just solve different type of questions. But the same idea, leave the x by itself. So, every time I have something like this, I have the x in the parentheses. I want to concentrate that I'm kind of using PEMDAS, all right? Always, this is the most common mistake in all math in high school or middle school by that chance. Order operations, every, every time I'm kind of solving or working on something, I use this order. First thing is P, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. These two work together, these two work together. P, parentheses, x plus three. Are those like terms? No. Can I combine them? No, I cannot. So, no parentheses, exponents, no exponents, multiplication, division. All right, here we go. Do we have a multiplication? Yes, we do. We have a negative in front of this parentheses. Technically, this negative is going to distribute on the inside. If you get confused, just put a negative one right there and distribute the negative one. So, let's bring the eight. Negative one times x is negative one x. Negative 1 times positive 3 is negative 3 it equals to 11. Do I need to write the 1? Not really. So now I have like terms. I have 8 and 3. I can combine those two. All right, so 8 minus 3 is going to give me 5. And I'll bring the negative 1x. Like I said, I don't have to put the 1. So I'm going to write just negative x equals to 11. All right, and it's getting smaller. Leave the x by itself. Get rid of that 5. This 5 is positive, I do the opposite operation, which is negative. I'm subtracting on both sides. Whatever you do on one side, you do on the other side of the equation. 5 minus 5 gives you 0. Okay, I don't have to write a 0. And I'll just bring down the negative x. Here, 11 minus 5 is going to give me 6. Okay, the x, almost there. Is it by itself? Not yet. If there's nothing here, technically you have a negative 1, all right? You put a 1. If there's no number next to the x, you have a 1. So I want to get rid of that negative 1. Divide on both sides by negative 1, right? Because negative 1 is multiplying the x. The opposite is division. Divide on both sides. Negative 1 divided by negative 1 gives me positive 1x. And positive divided by negative gives me negative 6 divided by 1 is 6. So x equals negative 6, and that's my answer, okay? In the previous videos, I show you how to multiply signs that have the same sign and different sign. Oops, this is a negative and negative divided by a right. So when the signs are the same, positive and positive gives you a positive, positive and negative gives you a negative, negative and negative gives you a positive, and negative and positive gives you a negative. What do I mean by this? If you notice here, I said uh, here in the top, negative and positive gives me a negative. Negative and positive gives me a negative. So every time you have a negative in front of parentheses, what's going to happen is that negative is going to change the, the inside signs. If they're positive, it goes negative. If they're negative, it goes positive. Okay, before we move on, this is my answer. How do you know if it's right or wrong? Right? Because when, when you don't, well, as soon as you finish your problem, you want to know if it's you're gonna get a hundred or not. So what you do is you plug it back in, okay? So I'm gonna write this, eight minus x plus three equals 11. Eight minus, instead of the x, I'm gonna write the value negative six. So right now I'm double checking my answer. And then I follow PEMDAS inside the parentheses. I have negative 6 plus 3, negative 6 plus 3 is negative 3, okay? And then I have here that this negative is multiplying this negative, and two negatives makes it positive. So that two negative becomes a positive, and 8 plus 3 is 11. And now you double check your answer, all right, you got 100. That's what you want to know, all right? Always double check if you have the time, please, and go easy and slow. Don't rush on the EOC. Never rush, please. Okay, and trust yourself. Let's keep going. All right, guys, always check the description of this video. There's tools there to help you. And 
more videos for the EOC, always check the description. Same thing as the suggested videos at the end of the video. Okay, let's do inequalities. So, inequalities behave the same way as an equation. There's only one difference is that when you multiply or divide by negative, when you multiply or divide by a negative, okay, the signs are going to change. I'll show you that in a minute. Let's start. So, um, I have y's on both sides of the inequality symbol. This goes for an equation or an equality. It's the same process. So, I have an equality, I have variables on both sides, so my first step is to get rid of one of those inequalities, okay? To stay consistent, I always advise my students to get rid of the right side always. So you don't get confused as, oh, which one is smaller, which one is... It doesn't matter which one you cancel. It does not matter. So be consistent. I always say my students cancel the right side. You have two variables on both sides, cancel the right side. All right, so I have a negative 7y. How do I cancel it? I do the opposite. I add 7y. I do it on the right side. I do it on the left side. Okay, be consistent. Negative 9 plus 7. Negative 2y. Please check my previous videos on how to add or subtract those numbers. Bring down the 4. Keep the same inequality symbol. Negative 7 plus 7, 0. Or 7 minus 7 is 0. Bring down the negative 2. Okay, now, same thing as the equation. I want to leave the y by itself. I cancel whatever's added or subtracted first. This number that is next to your y is multiplying the y. So that's your last step. Okay? So you cancel whatever is next to it, adding or subtracting. In this case, I have a plus 4. What's the opposite of plus 4? Negative 4. That's right. If I do it on one side, I do it in the other side of the symbol. 4 minus 4, 0. is gone. Bring down the negative 2y. I keep the same inequality symbol. Look, the same symbol. Negative 2 minus 4. When you're combining numbers with the same sign, you add the numbers and you keep the same sign. So negative 2 minus 4 is negative 6. All right, last step. There's a 2 that is multiplying the y. So I have to divide by negative 2 on both sides. Negative divided by negative is positive. 2 divided by 2, so this cancels out. And I have 1y or y. Now, the trick here with inequalities is when I divide by a negative number, my inequality symbol flips. When I divide or multiply by a negative number, my inequality symbol flips. If it was like this, then it changes. If it's like this with an equal sign, then it changes with the equal sign. If originally it's like that, then you flip it. Okay? Oh. Now with the equal sign, I'm sorry, you flip it, all right? So whatever you have, you flip the symbol. If it has an equal underneath, you keep the equal underneath, all right? So it's less than, now it's greater than. And now negative 6 divided by negative 2 gives me negative negative is positive 3. And that's my answer. Again, if you want to double check, you plug it back in. That's what you need to do. And we're done. By any chance, by any chance, and this, this covers this. Sometimes they're going to ask you, solve and graph. Let's make the graph of this. Might as well do the graph. So I have this graph. I normally, what I do is I concentrate on this value. I put the 3 here. Okay. And always when you graph an inequality symbol, and I'm sorry, an inequality, you're going to put an open circle right there. Now, this open circle is going to stay open if the inequality has no equal underneath. So if you have less than or greater than, you're going to have an open dot right there. If you have it equal underneath, then instead of being open, you're going to have a solid dot right there. Okay? All right. So no equal, open, equal sign underneath is going to be solid. Now let's read. Y is greater than 3. Greater than 3 is 4, 5, 6, right? 4, 5, 6. So my arrow, my inequality is going to go to the right, and this will be inequality. All right, so for most of the times when you're solving inequality, they will ask you to graph as well. Keep that in mind. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Um, next video, little equations. 
Don't forget to click on the suggested video. All right, bye-bye.